favorite memory of my first favorite pair of shoes was when my grandma got it for me and I didn't even know my size and I got the smallest size, but I loved them so much that I did not return them. Everybody has such a unique story and I can like tell a lot about somebody kind of based off their shoes and like how they decide to style it. Hi, my name is Celia Reyes and um, uh, I used to be the an ex-COO of a shoe selling company. Shoes to me are something that expresses yourself and um, I kind of got into it because of a business I started junior year. Um, it was called Sneaker Monkey and it was basically where we would buy shoes at a retail, at like the drop price, which is like the very first price. So it'd be like way lower than the actual market price. And then we would resell it on um, StockX or like eBay, Depop, and just like also on Instagram. Um, and it was not successful at all. Uh, I don't think we sold a single shoe. Um, I ended up selling like a couple of the shoes after the business had like ended, but that experience kind of like being part of this business where I was like completely immersed in like the shoe, like sneakerhead world, like kind of opened my eyes to like fashion and like what shoes, like, like how big of a role they do play in your style. More than anything, I would probably say like, like, uh, like family members, friends, more than anything that, like, you see the growing up with like Jordans, and you're kind of like, yo, I want those shoes. You know what I mean? Shoes hold such like sentimental value, even though they're just like, oh, you use them in a year and you're done. There's like stories. And because like, for instance, like the Jordans are so popular, you talk about it through generations and it's a thing that connects people. My name is uh, Senen Ponciano. Uh, Born and raised here in San Diego. I'm Alex. <laughs> Say my style definitely takes uh, inspiration from you know, skate culture, Chicano culture. I get inspiration from like bohemian hippie hippie style. I like a lot of flowy stuff, and I get a lot of inspiration from from my partner right here too. Definitely helps me with my style. I'm still figuring it out, but I think we look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is PJ. I'm the store owner for Kickback, one of the owners. Uh, I've been running the business for about two years now. Uh, I've been doing vintage clothing for about six years prior to the store. It was my business partner that got me into sneakers. He's been selling it for a while. I picked it up uh, as I got older because I couldn't afford sneakers as a kid. So I was always fascinated by it. Uh, I used to play basketball, so I started off basketball shoes and kind of worked my way into streetwear. But it's been really fun. I think part of like the sneakerhead world is you like buy and then you, you buy them and then you kind of resell, buy, resell, buy, resell. Uh, with all the drops that they do throughout the year, it's pretty fun and uh, to like wait in lines. For example, like these these, pur these purple with white shoes, I was at work. I got my lunch break at 10 and I went to go line up at Overload. It was a, it's a 
a skate shop and I was waiting there for an hour and a half. And when it was my time to go up, they were sold out. So it happens, you know, it happens. Hello, I'm Eddie on, from e, e Kicks. I sell here at Kobe Swami every weekend. Um, I started selling because I really enjoy sneakers regardless of what anyone thinks about them. Uh, my favorite shoe are the Jordan 4 Pine Greens. Here, can I show them? Yeah. Let me show them. Yeah. So these are, these are my favorite shoes. I do have one in my collection and they were the sneaker of the year for 2023. So pretty good shoe. I love, I love reselling and it's just fun. The people you do deals with and the interactions that you get, it's all worth it at the end, so. Even though it's just something that's part of your like style, like something you wear on your feet, like I feel like shoes can be so, like hold so many memories, like running down the street as kids, but I think just like being able to share what shoes are and what it means to somebody is important to document just for like historical and for like future generations to see like what people in our times wore. The nostalgic shoe memory I have is um, the Air Jordan 10 um, because that was the first and basically like the only Air Jordan my, my mom bought me. Um, so. That's why it has like a like a I have a, like a special special memory with that shoe. Um, so yeah, I passed that down to my son. So as long as I can afford to buy him some, I buy him some. <laughs>